And looking at my dad's home movies, the 1940s, 50s, 60s, and a lot of people have asked, this wonderful plant, affectionately referred to as Scotch broom, you can't pull it, you can't cut it with a chainsaw, you, you try to use a weed eater with a, like a skill saw blade on the bottom of it, it's dangerous, but it has these beautiful yellow flowers. And everybody asks, oh, it's so pretty. No, it's not a native plant. And some people, this may technically be French broom, but everybody refers to it as Scotch broom. Whether it's technically French broom or Scotch broom, it's broom. The real way it got around the county was it's brought up to be planted at burial sites. People thought it was pretty. So yes, it is pretty. How did it get all around the county? Well, as you can see here on this one, it'll grow these nice, delicious beans. And in the beans are seeds. Well, it just so happens that a lot of the cemeteries were put next to the water ditches that supplied the water to the county, originally to the mines and then to agriculture. And if this bean pod falls in that water, down the stream it goes. And that's where the Scotch broom got spread all over the county. It was carried by this wonderful water conveyance from the cemeteries to the very ends of every single water ditch we have. And from there, it just took off. Now you know the story on broom. Good, the bad, the indifferent.